This is a tutorial from LearnWebsiteDesign.com and it's going to cover how to create forms, text fields, transfer fields, and submit buttons. The first thing that I'm going to do is begin with a blank web page. Now I'm going to go to the HTML document here. Now to create a form, use two tags, the opening form tag and the closing form tag. The closing form tag is, is going to be the keyword form is going to be preceded by the um, four slash and of course both tags are enclosed in less than and, and uh, greater than angle brackets now when you create the open a form tag you're going to want to include at least two attributes uh, within the opening form tag um, one of them is going to be the action attribute and the other one is going to be the method attribute the Action attribute specifies where the information um, that is submitted by the user is sent to, um, and that and the location which is to which it's sent to is either a script or application that processes the information. Uh, for example, you can put process.php or process.asp, um, whatever you choose. The method attribute specifies how the information is to be sent, um, and there are two methods uh, in which to send. The information one is the get method the other is the post method now to create okay first of all a form by itself does nothing a form now I'm going to save this book page I'm going to show you that form does nothing a form by itself once again is simply a container for form elements now, as you can tell when I refer to web page um, you see nothing that's, that's because at the moment I've just created the form by itself um, now next I'm going to show you how to how to create a text field. Now to create a text field, use the input tag. And to make this to make this form uh, HTML compliant, you're going to end the input tag by with a uh, with a blank space followed by a forward slash and then the closing angle bracket. Now to create now to create the the text field, use the type attribute within the input tag, and the value of the type attribute is going to be text. Now I'm going to save this document. I'm going to refresh the document, and notice now that I have a text field. Now you can specify the size of a of a text field by including the size attribute uh, within the input tag, and the value of the size attribute is, is going to be just the number, um, and that number is going to be whatever size you choose for the for the text field to be. Now we can put thirty. I'm going to refresh the web page. Notice now that the size of the text field increases to in this case 30. I'll put 50 and save the document. Notice now that now the size of the text field increases to the size of 50. Now to create a, a password field, it's very similar to creating a, a text field. Use the input tag, use the type attribute, and the value for the type attribute for a password field is going to be password. I save the document. And notice that now I, I also have a password field. And you can specify the, the size of the password field the exact same way that you specify the size for a text field. Now to create a submit button, you also use the info tag and also the type attribute. 
and the value for the type attribute is going to be the keyword submit. I save the document. I refresh the document. And notice that now I have a submit button. And also notice that the default text in this case is submit query, and that is because I'm using the Firefox browser. Um, if I use Chrome, for example, or Internet Explorer um, as another example of another web browser, then the text would be different. If I want to specify the text that appears on a submit button, I, I use the value attribute. And the value of the value attribute is whatever text that I want to be displayed on the submit button. In this case, I'm going to put submit button as the text. I'm going to save the document. And now the text on the submit button, which is at the moment is submit query, should be changed to submit button. And there you go.